Now let me show you how to calculate areas, volumes, square ups, and diagonals, and loads on your heavy calc. You can always do it the mathematical way, multiplying those three dimensions together, or you can use these top three keys here to get a whole series of answers from just three inputs. Let me show you. 147 feet, 7 inches, let's call that the length of a long driveway. Um, 14 feet, 9 inches is the width, and we want to go 18 inches down, 18 inches of depth. So now it's all set to give a series of answers. I'm going to go back to the width key. It confirms our width at 14.9. Press it again. There's our surface area, 2,176 square feet of surface area. Press that again. There's the square up diagonal. So if you were going to set forms and make sure you had 90 degree corners, that would be the number you would want to see pulled from both directions. And finally, the perimeter. That's the total lineal running feet around this excavation if you have to put up form boards or any kind of edge treatment. Uh, back to the height key here, confirms that 18 inches of depth, press it again, there's our cubic volume. We need 120.9 cubic yards. If we want to see how many loads that would take, press the loads key, and using the default value of 8 cubic yards, it tells you it's about 15 loads. You can set that load value for any size truck you've got. If we come back to the volume, 120 cubic yards, we can also convert that to tons. So we hit convert over the 6 key, it says tons. So 181 tons. You could also convert to metric tons if that's your unit of choice. So just with three entries, you get a whole series of answers. You get areas, volumes, perimeters, square up diagonals, volume, and loads. So that's a quick overview on that area and volume functions. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.